look at this. How freaking huge. Freaking huge. Peekaboo. Oh, uh, no. I eat muscle. <laughs> Welcome to That's Not Sexy. I am your master level personal trainer, Alex Diaz, once again with another video. This video is about beta alanine and benefits, the, down, the side effects, all that good stuff about it and what it is. So first let me just say where you get it from. Beta alanine, you get it from your, your fish, your chicken, your pork, your steak, um, just like creatine. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, it's, it's not, not an essential amino acid, so you don't have to worry about if I take a supplement, my body won't produce it no more. You're getting it from the food sources, so it's no big deal. Um, so what it does, and there were the side effects to it, whatever. <laughs> so, um, it just pretty much, it's amino acid pretty much that increases uh, carnosine levels. And pretty, pretty much carnosine is in your, in your muscles. And it's, it serves as a, a way to balance your pH levels in your muscles. So it's a buffer. It increases the, the buffering effect inside your muscles. So it's good not only for uh, aerobic and anaerobic workout, believe it or not, because there was a study showing uh, cyclists who took a bit of alanine, because mostly bit of alanine has always been studied for, you know, uh, explosive workouts, you know, people that are in the gym and doing, you know, squats and cleaning, cleaning presses and all that stuff. Uh, how it pretty much you just you could it prolongs the set of fatigue and acids uh, your body you know, goes through when you're doing your workouts. So, um, but also using for well, which pretty much weight training is pretty much a you know anaerobic uh, workout. To now I'm talking about aerobic workout with like cyclists, they actually said um, a study showing that the cyclist was able to uh, have more endurance, actually go longer or faster or whatever. So it actually improves aerobic um, workouts as well as anaerobic workouts. So, yeah, so there you go about that. <laughs> um, as far as the side effects and what the recommended amount is, depending on your body type and how much you weigh, it would be two to four grams. Uh, if you're a bigger guy, four, maybe five grams. But um, that's the recommended dosage. And is it... Um, the side effects to it when you when you take it, people say you know that you feel tingly and like a little like it feels like spiders are inside your skin or like little needles. And a lot of people don't like Bionic because of this. And I think they're just pretty much pussies and they're scared. Um, your body eventually will adapt to the tingling feeling. Uh, for those of people that are new to it, they don't like it and they won't take it because it's tingling. It's really good for you. Um, it helps your workout, so um, I don't know why a little bit of tingling would turn you off. It's not going to stay there forever. It only lasts a couple of minutes, maybe even a couple of minutes. It might it only last that long. Um, so, it's nothing to be afraid about. I don't know why you all, I don't want to take it. It's scary. It's tingling. Who cares? What, are you are, did you die taking it? Did you know anyone who died taking this supplement? Did you, did you die eating chicken and stuff, yeah, you don't feel the same tingling because it's a different concentration, but it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> no, it's not going to hurt you. It's the same as creatine. You get it from your same food, so it's not going to hurt you. Um, most pre-workouts, they have uh, beta alanine in it, and I would recommend that if it does have beta alanine, to also, um, uh, they should have creatine monohydrate on there too to convert the ADP to AD, ATP and all that and turn it back so you could do an extra rep set. So these two work hand to hand. That's why I would say eat if get it from your fishes, get it from your meats and stuff like that. Um, but if you want to take a supplement for beta alanine, that's fine. You know, there's no there's nothing wrong with it. Make sure you do the recommended amounts, okay, um, that's on the uh, on the label. And that's pretty much it. Normally you would take it before workout, uh, because that's the whole point of taking it. Before you do your your, your workouts, uh, I would I don't I don't have a specific recommendation for you like what brand or whatever, because they pretty much work all the same. But I would just say 
Uh, it should have some kind of creatine monohydrate in there to help you during your workout as well. But most pre-workouts have it, um, and you'll feel it. You feel the tingling in your body. And it's just Some people like it, some people don't. And, and for the people that don't like it, hey, what can you do? You don't like it, but it's, it's going to help you out. Just like you don't like sweating and lifting weights and working out, you still got to do it, right? So it's not a big deal. All right, so... <laughs> Uh, I think that's it for Beta Allen, this video. I make a pretty short video, this one. Um, that's it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Now to this channel, to my second channel, which I have there as well, to get more uh, tips on did you know facts, really quick facts that a lot of people don't know about, so you can impress your friends and show off and all that. So make sure you subscribe to my second channel and show off to your friends. <laughs> and... Uh, Stay tuned to my next video, which I'm going to have tons of crap that you will blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. So make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, that's not sexy, man. And I'm freaking you, man. No, no. Take it.